The Susruta Samhita, Susruta Sanhita IAST, Susruta Samhita, literally, Susruta's Compendium, is an ancient Sanskrit text on medicine and surgery, and one of the most important such treatises on this subject to survive from the ancient world. The Compendium of Susruta is one of the foundational texts of Ayurveda Indian traditional medicine, alongside the Karaka Samhita, the Bila Samhita, and the medical portions of the Bauer manuscript. It is one of the two foundational Hindu texts on medical profession that have survived from ancient India. The Susruta Samhita is of great historical importance because it includes historically unique chapters describing surgical training, instruments and procedures. Topic: History. Topic: Date. The early scholar Rudolf Hornley proposed that given that the author of Satipatha Brahmana, an ancient Vedic text, was aware of Sushruta doctrines, those Sushruta doctrines should be dated based on the composition date of Satipatha Brahmana. The composition date of the Brahmana is itself unclear, added Hornley, and he estimated it to be about the 6th century BCE. While Lucas et al. date the Sushruta Samhita to the mid-first millennium BCE, Basla dates the currently existing text to the 6th century CE, Rao in 1985 suggested that the original layer to the Sushruta Samhita was composed in 1st millennium BCE by Elder Sushruta, consisting of five books and 120 chapters, which was redacted and expanded with Atara Tantra as the last layer of text in 1st millennium CE, bringing the text size to six books and 184 chapters. Walton et al., in 1994, traced the origins of the text to 1st millennium BCE. Muhlenbeld in his 1999 book states that the Susruta Samhita is likely a work that includes several historical layers, whose composition may have begun in the last centuries BCE and was completed in its presently surviving form by another author who redacted its first five chapters and added the long, final chapter, the Uttaratantra. It is likely that the Susruta Samhita was known to the scholar Dirdabala Florida, 300-500 CE, also spelled Dritabala, which gives the latest date for the version of the work that has survived into the modern era. Tipton in a 2008 Historical Perspectives Review, states that uncertainty remains on dating the text, how many authors contributed to it and when. Estimates range from 1000 BCE, 800 to 600 BCE, 600 BCE, 600 to 200 BCE, 200 BCE, 1 to 100 CE, and 500 CE. Partial resolution of these uncertainties, states Tipton, has come from comparison of the Sushruta Samhita text with several Vedic hymns, particularly the Atharvaveda, such as the hymn on the creation of man in its tenth book, the chapters of Atreya Samhita, which describe the human skeleton, better dating of ancient texts that mention Sushruta's name, and critical studies on the ancient Bauer manuscript by Hornley. These information trace the first Sushruta Samhita to likely have been composed by about mid-first millennium BCE. Authorship Susruta an adjective meaning, renowned, is named in the text as the author, who presented the teaching of his guru, Devodasa. He is said in ancient texts such as the Buddhist Jatakas to have been a physician who taught in a school in Kashi Varanasi in parallel to another medical school in Taxila on Jhelum River, sometime between 1200 BC and 600 BC. One of the earliest known mentions of the name Sushruta is in the Bauer manuscript 4th or 5th century, where Sushruta is listed as one of the ten sages residing in the Himalayas. Rao in 1985 suggested that the author of the original layer was Elder Sushruta, Vrddha Sushruta. The text, states Rao, was redacted centuries later, by another Sushruta, then by Nagarjuna, and thereafter Atara Tantra was added as a supplement. It is generally accepted by scholars that there were several ancient authors called Susruta who contributed to this text. Affiliation <inaudible> 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 The text has been called a Hindu text by many scholars. The text discusses surgery with the same terminology found in more ancient Hindu texts, mentions Hindu gods such as Narayana, Hari, Brahma, Rudra, Indra and others in its chapters, refers to the scriptures of Hinduism namely the Vedas, and in some cases, recommends exercise, walking and constant study of the Vedas as part of the patient's treatment and recovery process. 
The text also uses terminology of Samkhya and other schools of Hindu philosophy. The Sushruta Samhita and Karaka Samhita have religious ideas throughout, states Stephen Engler, who then concludes, Vedic elements are too central to be discounted as marginal. These ideas include treating the cow as sacred, extensive use of terms and same metaphors that are pervasive in the Hindu scriptures, the Vedas, and the inclusion of theory of karma, self Atman, and Brahman metaphysical reality along the lines of those found in ancient Hindu texts. However, adds Engler, the text also includes another layer of ideas, where empirical rational ideas flourish in competition or cooperation with religious ideas. The text may have Buddhist influences, since a redactor named Nagarjuna has raised many historical questions whether he was the same person of Mahayana Buddhism fame. Zeisk states that the ancient Buddhist medical texts are significantly different from both Sushruta and Karaka Samhita. For example, both Karaka and Sushruta recommend dupana fumigation in some cases, the use of cauterization with fire and alkali in a class of treatments, and the letting out of blood as the first step in treatment of wounds. Nowhere in the Buddhist Pali texts, states Zeisk, are these types of medical procedures mentioned. Similarly, medicinal resins laksha lists vary between Sushruta and the Pali texts, with some sets not mentioned at all. While Sushruta and Karaka are close, many afflictions and their treatments found in these texts are not found in Pali texts. In general, states Zeisk, Buddhist medical texts are closer to Sushruta than to Karaka, and in his study suggests that the Sushruta Samhita probably underwent a Hinduization process around the end of 1st millennium BCE and the early centuries of the Common Era after the Hindu Orthodox identity had formed. Clifford states that the influence was probably mutual, with Buddhist medical practice in its ancient tradition prohibited outside of the Buddhist monastic order by a precedent set by Buddha, and Buddhist text praise Buddha instead of Hindu gods in their prelude. The mutual influence between the medical traditions between the various Indian religions, the history of the layers of the Susruta Samhita remains unclear, a large and difficult research problem. Susruta is everentially held in Hindu tradition to be a descendant of Dhanvantari, the mythical god of medicine, or as one who received the knowledge from a discourse from Dhanvantari in Varanasi. <laughs> Manuscripts and transmission Our knowledge of the contents of the Susruta Samhita is based on editions of the texts that were published during the 19th and early 20th centuries. Especially noteworthy is the edition by Vaidya Yadavasarman Travikramat Maha Akarya that also includes the commentary of the scholar Dalhana. The printed editions are based on just a small subset of manuscripts that were available in the major publishing centers of Bombay, Calcutta, and elsewhere when the editions were being prepared, sometimes as few as three or four manuscripts. But these do not adequately represent the large number of manuscript versions of the Susruta Samhita that have survived into the modern era. These manuscripts exist in the libraries in India and abroad today, perhaps a hundred or more versions of the text exist, and a critical edition of the Susruta Samhita is yet to be prepared. Topic. Contents The Sushruta Samhita is among the most important ancient medical treatises. It is one of the foundational texts of the medical tradition in India, alongside the Karaka Samhita, the Bila Samhita, and the medical portions of the Bauer manuscript. Topic. Scope The Sushruta Samhita was composed after Charaka Samhita, and except for some topics and their emphasis, both discuss many similar subjects such as general principles, pathology, diagnosis, anatomy, sensorial prognosis, therapeutics, pharmaceutics, and toxicology. The Sushruta and Charaka texts differ in one major aspect, with Sushruta Samhita providing the foundation of surgery, while Charaka Samhita being primarily a foundation of medicine. Topic. Chapters The Sushruta Samhita, in its extant form, is divided into 186 chapters and contains descriptions of 1,120 illnesses, 700 medicinal plants, 64 preparations from mineral sources, and 57 preparations based on animal sources. The Susruta Samhita is divided into two parts the first five chapters, which are considered to be the oldest part of the text, and the later section. SKT. Uttaratantra, that was added by the author Dhritabala. The content of these chapters is diverse, some topics are covered in multiple chapters in different books, and a summary according to the Bishagratna's translation is as follows. 
Topic: Prevention versus cure. Sushruta, states Tipton, asserts that a physician should invest effort to prevent diseases as much as curative remedial procedures. An important means for prevention, states Sushruta, is physical exercise and hygienic practices. The text adds that excessive strenuous exercise can be injurious and make one more susceptible to diseases, cautioning against such excess. Regular moderate exercise, suggests Sushruta, improves resistance to disease and physical decay. Shushruta has written slokas on prevention of diseases. Topic. Human skeleton The Sushruta Samhita states, per Hornley translation, that, "...the professors of Ayurveda speak of 360 bones, but books on Salya Shastra surgical science know of only 300." The text then lists the total of 300 as follows, 120 in the extremities e.g. hands, legs, 117 in pelvic area, sides, back, abdomen and breast, and 63 in neck and upwards. The text then explains how these subtotals were empirically verified. The discussion shows that the Indian tradition nurtured diversity of thought, with Sushruta school reaching its own conclusions and differing from the Atreya Karaka tradition. The osteological system of Sushruta, states Hornley, follows the principle of homology, where the body and organs are viewed as self mirroring and corresponding across various axes of symmetry. The differences in the count of bones in the two schools is partly because Charaka Samhita includes 32 teeth sockets in its count, and their difference of opinions on how and when to count a cartilage as bone both count cartilages as bones, unlike current medical practice. <inaudible> <inaudible> Surgery The Sushruta Samhita is best known for its approach and discussions of surgery. It was one of the first in human history to suggest that a student of surgery should learn about human body and its organs by dissecting a dead body. A student should practice, states the text, on objects resembling the diseased or body part. Incision studies, for example, are recommended on pushpafala squash, cucurbita maxima, alavu bottle gourd, legionaria vulgaris, tripusha cucumber, cucumis pubescens, leather bags filled with fluids and bladders of dead animals. The ancient text, state Menon and Haberman, describes hemorrhoidectomy, amputations, plastic, rhinoplastic, ophthalmic, lithotomic and obstetrical procedures. The Sushruta mentions various methods including sliding graft, rotation graft and pedicle graft. Reconstruction of a nose rhinoplasty, which has been cut off, using a flap of skin from the cheek is also described. Labiaplasty too has received attention in the Samahita. Topic medicinal herbs The Sushruta Samhita, along with the Sanskrit medicine-related classics Atharvaveda and Charak Samhita, together describe more than 700 medicinal herbs. The description, states Padma, includes their taste, appearance and digestive effects to safety, efficacy, dosage and benefits. Topic reception A number of Sushrata's contributions have been discussed in modern literature. Some of these include ritchoola heart pain, circulation of vital body fluids such as blood and lymph madameha, obesity, and hypertension. Kearns and Nash 2008 state that the first mention of leprosy is described in Sushruta Samhita. The text discusses kidney stones and its surgical removal. Topic transmission Outside India The text was translated to Arabic as Kitab Shah Shun al-Hindi in Arabic, also known as Kitab i Susarid, in Baghdad during the early 8th century at the instructions of a member of the Barmakid family of Baghdad. Yahya ibn Barmak facilitated a major effort at collecting and translating Sanskrit texts such as Vagbhata's Astangardaya Samhita, Ravagupta's Siddhisara and Sushruta Samhita. The Arabic translation reached Europe by the end of the medieval period. There is some evidence that in Renaissance Italy, the Branca family of Sicily and Gasparo Tagliacozzi Bologna were familiar with the rhinoplastic techniques mentioned in the Sushruta Samhita. The text was known to the Khmer king Yasovarman I Florida, 889-900 of Cambodia. Susruta was also known as a medical authority in Tibetan literature. In India, a major commentary on the text, known as Nibanda Samgraha, was written by Dalhana in ca. 1200 CE. Topic Modern translations The Adityo Princeps of the text was prepared by Madhusudan Datta Calcutta 1835. A partial English translation by U.C. Datta appeared in 1883. English translations of the full text were published by A. M. Kunte Bombay 1876. 
The first English translation of the Sushruta Samhita was by Kavaraj Kunjalal Bishagratna, who published it in three volumes between 1907 and 1916 reprinted 1963, 2006. .An English translation of both the Sushruta Samhita and Dalhana's commentary was published in three volumes by P. V. Sharma in 1999. Topic see also Ayurveda Hindu texts on ancient medicine Topic Notes Topic References Topic Bibliography Basla, Sarah Encyclopedia of Epidemiology. 1. Sage Publications. ISBN 978-1412928168. Balodi, J. P. Constituting the Outlines of a Philosophy of Ayurveda, Mainly on Mental Health Import. Indian Journal of Psychiatry. 29 127–31. PMC 3172459. MID 21927226. Banerjee, Anurban D., et al., 2011. Susruta and Ancient Indian Neurosurgery. World Neurosurgery. Elsevier. 75 320–323. Doi 10.1016/j.venu.2010.09.007. Bishagratna, Kavaraj K L. 1907. An English translation of the Sushruta Samhita in three volumes. Volume one, archived by University of Toronto, PDF. Archived from the original on the 13th of March 1967. Bishagratna, Kavaraj K L. 1911. An English translation of the Sushruta Samhita in three volumes, Volume 2, archived by University of Toronto PDF. Archived from the original on 30 May 2001. Bishagratna, Kavaraj K. L. An English translation of the Sushruta Samhita in three volumes, Volume 3, archived by University of Toronto PDF. Archived from the original on 30 May 2001. Dwivedi, Gurish, Dwivedi, Sridhar History of Medicine, Sushruta, the Clinician, Teacher par Excellence. PDF. Indian Journal of Chest Diseases and Allied Sciences. 49 4. Engler, Stephen quote, quote, Science. Versus. Religion. In Classical Ayurveda. Newman. 54, 416-463. Doi 101163 156 Hornley, A. F. Rudolph. 1907. Studies in the Medicine of Ancient India: Osteology or the Bones of the Human Body. Oxford, UK: Clarendon Press. Katumbian, P. 2005. Ancient Indian Medicine. Orient Longman. ISBN 978-8125015215. Lucas, M., et al., 2010. Anatomy in Ancient India, a Focus on the Susruta Samhita. Journal of Anatomy, 217 6, 646-650. doi, 10.1111, j.1469-7580.2010.01294, x. PMC 3039177. PMID 20887391. Rana, R. E., Aurora, B. S. History of Plastic Surgery in India. Journal of Postgraduate Medicine. 48 1. Ray, Priyadaranhan, et al., 1980. Susruta Samhita, a Scientific Synopsis. Indian National Science Academy. OCLC 7,952,879. Muhlenbeld, Jarrett Jan. 1999. A History of Indian Medical Literature. Groningen, Brill. All Volumes, 1999 to 2002. ISBN 9789069801247. Sharma, P. V. 1992. History of Medicine in India from Antiquity to 1000 A.D. New Delhi, Indian National Science Academy. OCLC 26881970. Shuldaish, E. History of Physiology. 
Pergamon Press. ISBN 978-0080273426. Ravintheran, Venkatachalam Knowledge of Ancient Hindu Surgeons on Hirschsprung Disease, Evidence from Sushruta Samhita of circa 1200–600 BC. Journal of Pediatric Surgery. Elsevier BV. 46 11, 2204 2208 doi.10.1016.j.jpedsurg.2011.07.007. Tipton, Charles Susruta of India, an unrecognized contributor to the history of exercise physiology. Journal of Applied Physiology. 104 6, 1553 1556. doi 10.1152, japphysial.00925.2007. PMID 18356481. Valiathan, M. S. The Legacy of Susruta. Orient Longman. ISBN 9788125031571. Tipton, Charles. 1994. The Oxford Medical Companion. Oxford, New York, Oxford University Press. ISBN 978 0 19 3 Zeisk, Kenneth. 2000. Asceticism and Healing in Ancient India, Medicine in the Buddhist Monastery. Mudalal Banarsidas. ISBN 978-8120815285. Chari P. S. Sushruta and Our Heritage, Indian Journal of Plastic Surgery. Topic. External links Sushruta Samhita Vol. 1, in English Sushruta Samhita Vol. 2, in English Sushruta Samhita Vol. 3, in English Sutrasthana, Nidanasthana, Sharirasthana, Sikatsasthana, Kalpasthana, Uttaratantra, English translation, proofread, correct spelling, interwoven glossary Sushruta Samhita English translation Syncretism in the Karaka and Susruta Samhitas <laughs>